Hi, my name is Ashton and welcome back to Ashton's EDC. Uh, today uh, there's a couple of things that I wanted to share with you. Uh, to start off, I'll uh, share my uh, pocket dump and what I have as part of my EDC um, today and a couple of other um, things that I'm trying to um, carry um, to kind of for, I guess, testing purposes and just to get some use out of some gear. Um, and then there is um, another thing that I'm going to get into, which is this. This is the Alpaca Element Tech Case um, that I use as a, as a sling, as part of my everyday carry sling. But first, uh, let's get into my uh, EDC for today. So for my main pocket knife, I've got the Benchmade Bailout. Uh, super nice pocket knife, super slim and lightweight. Uh, it's got a nice, nice, um, you know, blade. Uh, with the Tanto, it's in the 3V with the access lock there. So really nice pocket knife from Benchmade. I've also been carrying this. So this is something that I'm planning to EDC and keep on my belt for the next um, couple of weeks or maybe even the next month. And the reason for that is uh, due to some recommendations from you guys down in the comments of my past videos on how to make this um, just a bit of a nicer pouch I guess not necessarily make it but how to improve it because um, when I did the, my main review on this pouch um, I mentioned how the leather was pretty stiff and um, and not as soft as some of my other pouches such as this one and a couple of you guys recommended to uh, carry it there's a couple other things I'm going to try with this but just by carrying it and having it uh, on body I uh, will definitely do um, a lot for the leather. So inside of it here, I've got the Victorinox Pioneer X. And since there was space, um, pun not intended, I decided to put in the uh, Fisher's uh, Bullet Space Pen as well. Just thought that's kind of a nice matchup with the uh, A lock scales here and the silver. Um, for the uh, bullet pen so that's what I'm carrying in this on my belt another thing on my belt today is this this is my uh, leather zippo pouch and inside here as you can see peeking out I've got this zippo with the yellow flame uh, butane insert so that's my Zippo today. On uh, this I loop on the left side uh, of my belt and this is on the on my right side. All right, a couple other things. As per usual, I've got my JBL earbuds. My wallet, I've got the Alpaca um, Zip Pouch Pro. Um, I'll show you a little bit of what, the, what I've got in here. On the front here, um, it's got two pockets, two slip pockets. Um, I'm just using one of them currently where I keep this little um, mechanical pencil from Oto and the, again, kind of classic at this point, telescoping pen from Zebra. Um, nothing else in any of the external pockets. Um, on the front zip pocket here, uh, I threw a couple things in there. I just put this little buck. I think this is the Bantam Nano. Just a small little lock back pocket knife from Buck. And even though I am carrying a Zippo, um, if I can get it out, I put this little peanut lighter in there as well. Just a fun little lighter unscrews there and we'll see if there's any fuel in there there we go and lights up so there I've got the little peanut lighter and lastly in that same front zip pocket I've got this little titanium pen from Flytanium this little mini bolt action pen all right, a couple other things. I'm carrying a lot of a uh, lot of different gear today. I've also got my alpaca hub pouch, 
uh, with the polar bear patch there um, inside. Just give you a quick overview of what I've got inside. There's what it looks like in this pocket here. I've got the Rovivon E5 Angel Eyes flashlight and with the little lanyard that I put on. I've also got the Leatherman Juice B2 as well as this little um, little slip joint knife from uh, from Rake or R W or sorry R U I K E is how it's spelt, but I believe it's pronounced Rake. So a nice little slip joint knife there. On the other side. I've got a couple more pens. I've said this in several of my other videos, but I love pens. So, um, do I use them every day? Nope, definitely not, but I love them, so I might as well carry them with me if I can. First one in here is this um, one from Big Idea Designs. This is their titanium mini pen, I think it's called. And I've got this as well. This is the Oto Tash. I believe that's how it's pronounced. You can't see it anymore, it's been worn off, but. This is a fountain pen, nice and compact size, but when you pull the cap off and put it on the back, it turns into a full-sized fountain pen. All right, two more things in the hub pouch. I've got this, this is from SOG. Um, this is, I mostly use this just kind of as an emergency tool. It's got the whistle here on one end and the glass breaker on the, on the other, but it also has a a uh, ferro rod and striker in the middle as well. But uh, as far as urban uh, uses go, I just carry this as a um, kind of an emergency tool. And the last item I've got is just this little campus notebook. So I believe that's everything that I've got in f as far as my everyday carry today. Um, just one other quick thing I wanted to mention is I did just pick this up today. This is from Uni. This is one of their gel pens. I forget the name of this, uh, but a nice kind of mint green color with a nice click here on the end. Uh, kind of an interesting clip, as you can see. And then to actuate it, if you press on the end here, it will, um, you know, pop up. So that's kind of cool, really cool. Uh, design. Um, I was looking at this um, and I was trying to figure out how do you um, replace the refill if ne if need be. And it's pretty, it's just made of plastic, but it's pretty well designed in that there is a seam right about here. And so only once you unscrew does that appear where you can unscrew and replace the refill. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. But now I'm going to go into the Alpaca Elements um, tech case uh, and how I have this loaded out for EDC. Um, and so I will empty out the contents as I go through uh, the video and then um, I will show you once I've got everything emptied out, I will show you how, yeah, how it's uh, Organize and on the internal uh, organization once everything is out It'll give you a better idea as to what the uh, internal pockets look like So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera down towards the table and we'll take a look at the alpaca elements tech case All right, so here we are on the tabletop here taking a look at the alpaca elements tech case um, as you can uh, clearly see I have it in this really bright uh, orange uh, colorway. Uh, this is made out of a nice durable X-Pack material. You can see there by kind of that pattern. Um, of course this is uh, listed as a tech case, but it does come with these straps here, which just attach onto the back, but they can be easily removed, or it can be easily removed. Uh, it is adjustable, uh, as you can see there. Uh, pretty nice strap, nothing too uh, too fancy, but it's a nice uh, tough material, uh, but it also uh, has a bit of a slick feeling, so it's not going to be um, digging into your shoulder or anything like that, and it's attached here with these little clips here, so what I'm going to do, if I can do this on camera, so I'm just going to take this strap off, 
just to make things easier. But you can see the uh, the attachment points there uh, for the strap. So let's see here. It can be a bit tricky to get off, um, but that really just means that they're nice and secure. So I'll take that off for now. Looking around the bag, so you've got those two attachment points there. Um, you've got a front zipper here, kind of as a quick access pocket. Um, no organization on the inside, just a dump pouch. I've got a Gondek EDC handkerchief in there. Uh, let's see what else I've got in here. I've got some Pokemon keychains. Um, and... I've got a couple of these little compressed towels. Um, but just a big dump pocket uh, in there. Um, no organization, but still really nice. Um, it's got these nice uh, YKK zippers um, with the waterproof um, tape there, which makes it really water resistant. And uh, their zippers are really nice. So opening the top zipper, it's a dual zip. There's one on, uh, on each side currently. Um, if you zip them all the way down, then this will open up kind of in an accordion style. So what I'll do is I'll start from this side and I'll work my way this way. So starting over here, there is a slip pocket right here. Hopefully I can see that on camera. Sometimes what I do just to make uh, the visibility a bit easier and to get access is you can kind of fold out the corner here. Then it, you can see it a bit better. So there's a section here you can use as a dump pocket and then this slip, pouch, slip pocket. So currently, I've just got a few notebooks in here. I've got this uh, little pocket journal, as well as a field notes and another um, Kokuyo notebook. And those just slip right in here. As you can see, there is the alpaca logo right there. And then, of course, you could put something in here as well. And then there is, on this section here, there is another zip pouch. Um, you can't uh, keep anything super thick in there because it does take up a bit of space, but uh, I don't have anything in there currently, but sometimes I'll use that to put a USB cord in or something like that. All right, moving on to the next section. Here, there is another pouch, zip pouch. So if I unzip it here, you can see this opens up. So this kind of acts as a divider between the different sections here, but it's also a pouch of its own. Opening it up, you can see it's a nice uh, area there. Usually I'll use this section to uh, keep a power bank in, um, as it's a little bit more rigid. Um, so it's a good, seems to be a good spot, spot for a power bank. There's a couple internal little small pockets. There's one right here that only goes about an inch or so uh, deep. Uh, and then there's two small ones on either side. One right there and right there. Uh, I think, um, it, you know, you could store a, an SD card or USB drive or I've even stored a Zippo lighter in this middle section here. So that's that. Uh, middle pocket here we've just got a divi uh, divider um, obviously between each of these dividers so between here and here and here and here you can use it as a slip pocket uh, so here no pockets on this one just a solid divider moving on um, I've got my little individual first aid kit I've done a video on this so I'm not gonna go through that but I have that just sitting in this section here I've also got uh, the uh, Ono Roller, that's kind of a fidget toy. And then that gives you a bit of a better look here at this last compartment or section. Um, if I pull this out, this is my um, Micro EDC Essentials Kit or pouch. Um, this is my updated version two. So I keep that in here. So if I flip this around, you can see there's two large slip pockets. So I keep that pouch in here and on the other side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same as I'm going to flip this out to get a better look. 
So one slip pocket here, and second one here where I'm just keeping a bunch of pens. I've got a rollerball pen from Sabilo, Sharpie S gel, fountain pen from Twisby, a Coeco rollerball, another fountain pen, and another fountain pen. So I've got a bunch of pens there, but there is a pen loop here as well. Um, obviously that doesn't really work if there's if you have anything taller than the pocket itself because as you can see if I can get this in here you can uh, you know slide it behind but it doesn't work the best in the way I ha currently have it configured but uh, these pockets um, are you know made of the same um, ripstop material you can see that ripstop hexagon pattern throughout um, but it has a nice kind of um, edge here uh, for extra extra support so that's the uh, yeah this is how the zip or excuse me the elements tech case is set up so now that it's empty you can see if you um, really pull um, or not pull but really extend it. it gives you a good look so again one slip pocket two slip pockets on this side solid divider obviously you can use this section as a slip pocket and this section as a slip pocket then you have this divider which is its own zip pocket and then a slip pocket back here which I use for notebooks I think is perfect for that use and then another small zip pocket here one other quick feature to mention, if I flip it again back over to this side, right here, this is a little pass-through loop, which goes from, obviously from here, you can pass a cord or something similar into, let's see if I can show that here, right here into this front pocket. Hard to show on camera. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. So you can see it right there. What that allows you to do is if you uh, want to keep your a power bank in this pocket and your phone in the front quick access pocket, you can pass a charging cable through there um, to charge your phone. That's the best uh, use that I can uh, see for that. But you know, there, you can come up with all sorts of ideas um, for um, a function for that. So now that this is empty, I zip it up, zip these up on both sides. You can see on the top zippers here, they do have this little overlapping section, which can be used to put it, put, uh, you know, loop a lock through if you want to put a luggage lock on there. And again now, everything is zipped up. While it's empty, this comes in almost exactly 10 inches, as you can see here, uh, long. And then in terms of its width, comes in at about, about six and a half or six and three quarters of an inch. And thick, obviously it depends. While empty, you know, it kind of remains in this shape. So let's see here, comes in at about about three inches. But while this is packed full, obviously that, you know, you can expand uh, the internal capacity. So I really like this um, pouch or bag as an EDC sling bag. Uh, it works really well for my uh, purposes. Um, I can fit the things I normally like to keep in here, you know, or keep in any kind of bag. My micro EDC essentials kit, my individual first aid kit, um, you know, my different notebooks and pens, uh, and a power bank. Um, that's kind of what I consider as a, as an as the essentials, I guess, for um, a, a sling bag. Um, obviously, you can't really fit a water bottle on here, but what I have done in the past is, um, you know, I can clip, if I uh, have a carabiner attached to my water bottle, I can clip that onto one of the shoulder straps, um, or I can just carry that separately. But it's a really nice um, kind of minimal uh, EDC sling, but you can still fit quite a lot in here. It's a pretty compact size, um, but works great as a sling. And another thing is that if 
one day you're wanting to carry um, something else or you're wanting to bring your laptop or something like that, you can take the shoulder straps off and then just use it as a standalone pouch without having to um, you know, take everything out from the inside and transfer it into another bag. You can just take the shoulder straps off and um, just slip this into a larger backpack or messenger bag or something like that for use as a, as a standalone pouch. Um, really like this pouch, kind of nice um, if you're wanting to do some work at a desk. You know, once you open this up, it can kind of stand on its own. Not so much while it's empty, but so you could set that off to the side while you do some work. But I really enjoy this. So I hope you liked today's video going over the um, Element Tech Case. Um, I really love this pouch. I'd love to hear what other um, elements or, yeah, alpaca um, pouches and bags you have or even from the Element series. As I'm sure you uh, can <laughs> catch on by now, I use a lot of alpaca's products. I use their zip pouch pro as my wallet and the hub pouch as an edc pouch and this of course as well so i'd love to hear some of your favorite um, products from alpaca if you have any um and that, that's uh, that's everything for today's video let me know uh, down in the comments below what you think um let me know your favorites of alpaca uh, products and um yeah stay tuned for more videos uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you like the other videos that I'm making, please hit the subscribe button as well. I would really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Take care.